What's up everybody? This is your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. Today I'm with the OGP. And we went out hunting for games in the rain. And we got some stuff. Are you guys ready for some pickups? I hope so, because it starts right now. The fucking bug on my face. Alright guys, so as you guys saw, we went out and about, went hit thrift stores. First place we went to was a Best Buy and actually picked up a couple DVDs. Nice. I picked this one up last week, but um, I really wanted to get it in 3D, so I picked up Mad Max. In 3D. I still have the other one sealed. I'm going to take that one back and uh, get, get a refund. This one I'm actually really excited about. I don't know if there's any Big Bang Theory fans out there, but I got the newest season. Science history unraveling the mystery that all started with the Big Bang. Season 8. This guy got a strap on over the best part. <laughs> Let's see, we uh, ended up hitting up the Deseret Industry Thrift Store. Deseret. Deseret. And we found some games. Yeah. You, you found a game, right? Or you got two games. Two games there. Right? Two games, two. yeah. What'd you get? What'd you get? We picked up um, Tetris 2 for the um, SNES. Um, I'm pretty sure you got that, but you swear don't you don't I have it. No, not Tetris 2. Uh, I've got... Um, We're going to check after this video. I don't know about you know what systems are all, but I, I know I have like Tetris Attack, I have like Tetris World, I got Tetris Sphere. Tetris Sphere. Um, and I got Tetris, you know, on the NES, but, uh, didn't have that. Tetris 2. And, um, then... And then... And then... I picked up Kessin. Fire! Nothing, nothing real exciting, but, you know, it's four bucks. Completing the box. I mean, it's like a really clean copy. It's no Star Trek encounters. Really clean copy. Yeah, it's definitely a clean copy. Yeah, yeah. If I can, uh, if I can get my hands on Star Trek encounters one of these days, I'll be a happy camper. And for uh, surprisingly, uh, Desert Industries, their prices were actually not too bad. They did. They dropped them quite a bit. Yeah. I found two games that I've been looking for. The first one that I got is for the PlayStation, and it was only two bucks. I told you to aim that way. Suck it. Oh, God. Uh, I picked up OutRun 2006 Coast to Coast. Oh, that's nice looking. Ah, two bucks, dude. You know, I love racing games. And then this one I found last week up in the Anaheim area, uh, but it was missing the manual. I now have the manual because I got a complete inbox, and it's a clean copy for four bucks. Star Wars. Republic Commando. Really cool to get this one. I'll probably put uh, this, this copy. I'm going to take the manual out because it is complete and put it in the other one that I got that came with no manual. And I'm going to put this one up on eBay and make, you know, maybe 12, 13 bucks. Maybe even 15. With no manual? Disc alone sells for 13 bucks. Wow. Where are we going to next? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't pick up anything. Uh, no, no. Right after that, we went to the uh, Redlands Thrift. That's right, Redlands Thrift. Redlands Thrift. So I'm right on. I'm right on schedule. Here's my yeah. Redlands Thrift. I, I grabbed. I grabbed one game at Redlands Thrift. Uh, Beast Wars Transformers. Bam. Yeah. Six ninety eight, paid seven bucks for it, but I guess it's maybe like a twelve dollar game. Twelve to fourteen so, bucks. Somewhere in there. Beast Wars for the Pisson. Clean copy? Yeah, real clean copy, real nice. Yeah. So yeah. And you were just saying you you now have over a hundred PS one games. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty cool. My uh, shelf for the PS for the Pisons is uh, full. Damn. But I gotta find a new location for my Pisons. Pisons. Yeah, I am. Um, picked up a couple games there. These two I picked up because I'd never seen before. And I'm pretty sure I overpay on both. But uh, the first one that I got is for the PlayStation 2 and that is The Fast and the Furious. There he is, go! Yeah, 
Fast 7 just came out today, which I didn't really care too much for. But um, I also picked up a Wii game called Tack and the Guardian of Gross. Eight of these and I'll have a whole stone tablet. I would play in the shrine for you, Dad, but I have to watch my... I hope I don't have that one already. Six ninety eight. I know overpaid, but what a whatever, whatever. What is? But I did pick up. Uh, I did get one good game inside that uh, Redland Strip Store, and that is. I knew about the first one, but I didn't know there was a set, uh, part two of this game. Uh, but that is Nightmare Creatures. Yeah, I think I two. have the first one. <laughs> Uh, music by Rob Zombie. Paid 15 bucks for that one. And uh, the disc is in mint condition. Uh, at the Goodwill, we started with, um, oh, there you go. for the Xbox from the creators of Hitman, we Two. Uh, got a little Freedom Fighters. Freedom Fighters. Great game. Oh, okay. From the makers of Hitman 2, not yeah. the creator. I said that all wrong. <laughs> Suck it. Uh, nice, Freedom Fighters. Nice clean copy. Yeah, nice clean copy. Two ninety nine. Not bad. Got the ten percent discount. So thirty cents off. So that's you know, ten dollars. Two seventy. I'll take it. Yeah, take it. Right. Yeah, back and forth. forth. Okay. Um, I picked up one game inside there, a Wii game, and uh, the disc is it's kind of scratch. I'm hoping it works. But I took the gamble for three bucks, and that is Mario and Sonic's at the Olympic Winter Games. Looks like a lot of fun, so picked it up, you know, just in case. I almost passed, but three bucks, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell? Uh, then I grabbed uh, for the Wii uh, B movie game. That was close. Um, He's got kids. Yeah. Well, you know what? Everybody that's watching this probably has some games that would qualify them as being gay. Hmm? You know you've got like a Barbie game or something at home. You know you do. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. So what I'm saying is if, if you collect games, you collect games. It doesn't matter. I guarantee you he will never play that game in his life. I'm putting this bitch in tonight. I don't play a Barbie game. Yeah, just because you're a perv. <laughs> but anyways, I found a sealed DVD of, uh, I don't think it's out of print, but uh, it's a movie called Heaven Can Wait with Warren, ba Warren Beatty. I'm not supposed to be here. But you are here. Well, you guys made a mistake. There is no mistake. Well, anybody can make a mistake. Yeah, paid three bucks. I believe it's worth about ten, twelve dollars if I remember correctly. And uh, then also, uh, all the games I think that we got were all... Two ninety nine there. So Except for this one. Along that line, that's not a game. Oh. Um, neither was that last one. Neither is your mom. Uh, no, she's not. Uh, Johnny Mosley, Matrix. Or the stew. Yeah, no. And um, it's complete. Real nice copy. And Still I did no Star Trek Encounters. It's a game I did not have. No, no. I my quest to acquire Star Trek Encounters remains. One day, one day you will be a man. Again, you lean this way. <laughs> oh, that's tasty. That I is. That I, is. I, I swear you're doing this on purpose. That is flavorful. Is it gonna burn my nostrils again? It might. Hopefully, but then you luck. <sighs> that's all right. That's all right. I'll deal with that because right here. For a dollar fifty, I got a very rare out of print movie. I know I've seen this before, but I don't remember seeing it because I was young when it came out. And that is a movie called Sheena. Uh, it's from Columbia Pictures with um, Tanya Roberts. Oh, you fucking asshole! Wow, here, let me capture that. Man. <laughs> Enjoy the stench. I did em embrace the stench. I did smell a little of it. It's good. The, the 
he's, he's lucky there's a, a steady breeze. Um, but uh, anyways, for five ninety nine minus the sixty cents discount for yeah. for the ten percent for four dollars um, and five dollars and forty cents sealed, still sealed, brand new, born trilogy. He has the skills. Dude, stop right there. Of a dangerous man. There you go. Now it's it's DVD. It's not Blu-ray or anything, but it's fine. It's, it's like fifteen bucks. It's fine. Yay. Well, Maybe yeah, ten now. Yeah. Maybe ten. Man, I I almost bought this like probably year like three four years ago, but it was still going for like thirty or forty bucks. So I passed. But I am a big Bourne fan. Do love everything Bourne. Those are great movies. Cannot wait for the new one to come out. But um, yeah, still sealed. And I don't know if it'll remain that way. I, I don't. I don't plan one way or the other. But um, I do love some born, so I may end up popping it in at some point. I did get one more thing at a really small thrift store. Oh yeah, uh, I got a VHS tape. Pecom thrift. Uh, it's Sylvester Stallone and um, oh yeah, Richard Howard. Some one guy from uh, uh, Blade Runner. Yeah, Blade Runner. Yeah. Yeah. Picked that one up for the uh, the Cinestalker. 52 registered kills. Occupation, cop. Oh. If he's interested. He was trying to get his penis. Anyways, that's uh, this week's pickup video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't, it's his fault. But other than that, I am the Fluffy Gamer. And this is um, the one and only. And you can suck it. OGP. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye-bye. She's a punk rocker? Sheena? Sheena is a punk rocker. I'd hit it. Sheena is a punk rocker. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what song that is. Half the people watching will probably know. Half of you don't, and you're douchebags. Suck it. Well, Sheena is a punk rocker. Why do that? Oops, I just dropped off the game. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, whatever, it's grass, it'll be fine. Fucker locked the door, you motherfucker! Open the door! <laughs> I'm getting away, motherfucker! <laughs> Oh, that's eh. You're disgusting. <laughs>